good morning everybody this is Narsim Lu, associate professor St. Peter's Engineering College today we are going to be discuss about the field effect transistor in last video we were discuss about this one what is the difference between BJT and FIT and in terms of the constructional view in terms of the terminal representation and uh, advantages of FIT over the BJT all these things we discuss now we have to be understand that one how the uh, fit is going to be work functionally you know uh, you know uh, this is a drain and uh, you can also uh, this is a drain and source and we have the end channel is there which is forming between the source and drain and uh, it is one depletion region and uh, uh, this one is one depletion region and and the terminals are going to be extracted from the homic contacts that is drain and gate and the source is there when uh, this transistor is not biased means when the transistor is not connecting any external voltage between the gate and source or maybe between the train and source this uh, JFIT is acts like a open circuit because uh, there is uh, having the depletion region um, two sides of the P material in the N type material but there is no free electrons in the depletion region uh, and free holes in the depletion region at the same time there is no active forces uh, there between the drain and source to move the free electrons from the source to drain so it is like open circuit only when you're not biasing anything when you're not giving any voltage now let us consider having the some voltage applied between the drain and source that is you can be say VGD here two p type materials are connected to gate gate was open now how this operation will take place because uh, gate voltage is uh, zero means the depletion regions which are forming around the p type material in the n type which are having the same size because uh, the voltage uh, at top side and uh, lower side which is having zero only no so that one the depletion region is same for the both p types but when you have the vdd like you know plus polarity connected to drain and minus polarity connected to source uh, you can understand that one the majority carriers of n type materials are electrons electrons having the negative charge at the s yes terminal it is the source terminal having the uh, negative charge field was there at the drain terminal we can have the positive field charge was there so this negative nature of the electron is a ripple from the negative field and uh, uh, forced to move towards the drain because drain having the positive field negative and positive is going to be attracted so that uh, these electrons are mm, driving towards a drain and the current is uh, mm, coming from drain to source because current direction is always uh, in opposite to the moment of electron this is uh, the basic operation of n channel fit with gate is open but there is existence of the vdd is applied between drain and source now let us look into this it's very important point when the gate is connected to the negative terminal of the VDS and gate and source which are uh, connected or which are shorted and a positive voltage is applied to the drain what happened you should understand there is a forming of the depletion region the region shape is going to be different top side towards the drain having the more depletion region uh, toward the source having the less depletion region because you should understand that one 
in this region uh, the uh, in this region then what happened it is going to be having more reverse to bias compared to this region because you should understand this one is p material this one is n material it is like a pn junction but a n always should be connected with the negative uh, compare with the p material p should be positive p should be having the positive polarity voltage and n should be having the negative polarity voltage then that junction will become forward bias but thing is that here having the p is having negative but n is having uh, positive but the positiveness at the uh, drain is having more and uh, uh, g having the negative so that one this p and junction will be uh, in the region between the gate and drain will become more reversed by us so the depletion region is extended but here what happened here source having negative gate also having negative so that when the depletion region is very small it means that the reverse bias of this junction is very small so that one depletion region is very less when, when no bias voltage on gates but you are connecting the negative voltage uh, from the external vdc but when you consider the small negative gate source bias voltage you applied between the gate to the source it means that already i stated you know that when the input junction that be gate to sales always acting like a reverse bias what happens when you apply this uh, minus to the g and plus to the s then at the gate terminal having the more negative voltage then what happened at uh, plus, uh, plus is going to be connected to the source then you should be understand which are grounded and minus of VDS is going to be S and uh, place of the VDS is going to be connected to the drain. What happening inside of this one? Here having the more negative voltage, here at the drain terminal having the more positive, then more negative and more positive will become this junction in the region between the P and A, D. Okay. Then what happened uh, which is going to be having the depletion region increases. Okay and uh, then the depletion region between the gate and source it is uh, smaller compared to the upper this lower depletion region is slow uh, smaller why because uh, you are having a gate voltage it is uh, negative okay uh, but a uh, source voltage it is grounded you should be understand but gate voltage is negative okay negative voltage it is grounded but if it is a uh, uh, positive more positive mean then this depletion region is become more that is understanding now now large negative voltage if you apply it between the gate and source that depletion region will be goes on increase at the top side because a uh, vds is applied to the a, n uh, with plus polarity negative is applied to the g this uh, negative voltage will become more and n n, uh, n region at the drain having the more positive okay then what happened the region between this n and p like you know drain and gate will become more reversed by us so the depletion region will become um, increases this is the, the scenario when you are not biasing when you are having the small negative gate uh, gate to source voltage when you have the large gate to source voltage then when you have these depletion regions let me consider if there is no biasing then channel is free so that when according to applying vds voltage the electrons are moving from the source to drain and current is moving from the drain to source but when you applying the small, small increment of the vgs so that depletion regions will become increases then what happened the channel will become narrow so the current which is passing through the channel is will also going to be reduces because of the number of electrons which is moving from the source to drain will become reduced if you apply the more vgs voltage that uh, channel will become narrow and is which are going to be touches to each other these depletion regions that channel is going to become closed so there is no possibility of the electrons moving from the source to drain so correspondingly there is no current coming from the drain to source this is you should be understand here how the channel is uh, closing uh, because of this uh, making the reverse bias between the gate to uh, reverse bias junction between the p and the n type material 
this is the understanding of the um, JFET. Here you are applying the input is the voltage, but you are controlling the output current. That's what it is a field effect transistor. And next one, we'll see this one uh, VI characteristics of your JFET. Just you want to, uh, just you have to be observed here. In the drain VI characteristics of N channel fed, just to see this one up to VP as you are increasing. What is this VP is nothing but pinch of voltage. Okay, pinch of voltage. You should be understand their VGS is when VGS is zero. When VGS is zero, when VGS is zero means there is no voltage is applied, it means that VGS is gate to source terminals are open. Then at the time when you it goes on increasing VDS which are going to be increasing the ID it means the drain current is going to be increases and it reaches to the IDSS that is a current from a drain to source drain to so that you can be called as a saturated current the saturated current is happens when the drain voltage drain to source voltage is uh, applying and um, having reaches to the certain point of voltage that is a pinch of voltage VP. then what happened when you say that one VDS is uh, near to the pinch of voltage, then what happened? Uh, that uh, there is no uh, possibility of the extension uh, of the electrons. It means electrons all are will become free. Then all the electrons are going to be passing through the junction. Okay. Though you are increasing the VDS, it's nothing will be happen. It maintains a constant current. That's all. And then what happened? this current is also affected due to the vgs you should be understand yeah when vgs is zero more amount of current is passing when vgs minus one means you are making the gate to source junction will become reversed by it. you see this one uh, it means the depletion layer layers are increasing their sizes so that one channel will become closed so the number of electrons moving from the source to drain will become reduced so that corresponding a drain current is going to be decreases here when VGS is minus 3 volts is more negative so the drain current is even more reducing that is a point you should be understand what is this one this is a breakdown region means then what happened though you are having the VDS is able to increase okay but if you go on increase 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 mean what happened here the diode will become more reverse bias and avalanche breakdown happened okay in the reverse bias and uh, drastically the change of current is passing through this drain to source that is a leakage current or reverse bias current okay more reverse bias will become happening so that one having the avalanche breakdown in the reverse bias so more amount of current is going to be transmitted it is a drastical change is there okay if you apply the more vds and next one that scenario you should be understand how you are going to apply the voltage here VG, VGS you have to be this one VGS gate to source voltage and RIT, and this is the actual experimental setup you can have this one what is the amount of VDS you apply what is the amount of current which is passing through the drain and what is the amount of VGS you are applied what is the amount of IG you are having these all things you can be measured by having this setup next point and transfer characteristic of n channel fit here when it is working in the reverse order then what happened in the reverse order what happened you should be understand when you apply the uh, vgs will become more more negative what is going to be happening here when vgs is going to be equal to zero then id will become id a saturated current is going to become pass but when you say that when vgs is become more negative when when more negative what happens when more negative mean more uh, a uh, reverse bias is going to become happening more reverse bias between the p2n material at the drain region and p2n material at the source region uh, and drain to source region happening this reverse bias will become providing the more area more area of the depletion region so the channel will become closed so, so current is going to become reduces when you have this vgs is having the more more and negative voltage so that one you should be understand vgs is off then you say that one uh, uh, where the vgs is reaches to the minus vp that is a pinch of voltage then the depletion regions are increases from both side of the p e material so channel is closed then id is going to be equal to zero 
then id is going to be equal to id ss means drain to source current saturated current that is going to happening when vgs is equal to zero here by using the shockley equation for this parabola then you can be write the equation uh, how it is the amount of current which is passing through the drain to source it is equal to the id is equal to id ss of 1 plus vgs divided by vp whole square here vp is nothing but pinch of voltage here it is a maximum voltage you can apply it okay as a vgs to have this uh, sorry uh, this is the uh, maximum voltage you can be applied like a vds to make that one a train current is having the maximum current that is a pinch of voltage should be understand and vgs is a what is amount of voltage you are applying between the gate to source it is to substitute that and then you can be understand what is the drain current is going to be possible okay right then what is a vgs vgs you can be write in terms of vg of 1 minus under roots i2 divided by idss this is uh, the uh, iv characteristics of the jfet okay these are the derivations you can be apply like you know that one uh, v final plus v my initial of v final minus v initially to the power of minus t by rc something formula is there according to the the instantaneous voltage uh, dropped across this uh, channel or uh, instantaneous current is passing through the channel you can be derived by using that formula okay and uh, these two formulas are using to know this what is a amount of current is passing through the drain to source and what is the amount of voltage you are applying corresponding to drain to source and what is a uh, vp means vp itself it is a vds but that is a the voltage uh, there you can find that one id is equal to idss that is very important okay this is a today class okay you should understand more and more keep concentration uh, we'll discuss more points regarding the jfit in upcoming classes thank you everyone